Hi everyone, today we're going to add some items to our site. So first of all we're going to log into our exhibit site. So we'll go log in. There we are, logging in. Okay, so here we are on the admin dashboard. Now what we want to do is add an item. So we're going to go over here to items which is under resources and click on items and then we're going to add a new item up here okay so now what we see here is our um, new item screen now what we first have to do is select a resource template and the one we're going to select is Dublin Core Metadata Trove okay now we're going to ignore class for now but we're going to pop in type and we're going to put in image and you'll see over um, this side where um, you've got the Dublin core um, metadata fields you'll see underneath each field there's a description of what goes into that field so it's well worthwhile reading that so we've clicked in image now we're going to add a title now to do this I've already um, completed my Exhibit Omeka S Site Planner tool which you'll find on the library guide. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab the title and paste it in. Now for identifier, the identifier is actually the exhibit item number. So for now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste this URL up here and pop it into the identifier field by clicking on this button here for URI. And then I'm just going to paste that in for now and later on I'm going to come back when my site's live and um, update this URL to the live URL for the item. Okay, creator. Let's go back in here, which I prepared earlier. There's no creator. I don't know who it is, so I'm just going to leave that blank. But then I'm going to come down and write. So this is the copyright information. So this, um, every item has to have copyright information um, for to tell people how, how they can reuse or not reuse the actual item again. So I'm just going to grab that and copy and paste it in to my rights field here. Okay. And then I know what the format is. The format, it's a JPEG, GPG. Publisher, who's the publisher? The publisher is... University of Tasmania Library. So I'll go back. Okay. Okay, relation. Um, a related resource. Well, I know what a related resource is, and it's actually the Olive Pink Collection. which I might be able to get up here, I think. Item set. Olive pink. Select resource. Okay, so I've added this olive pink um, item to the Isle of Pink collection down here by clicking on Amica resource and adding it. Okay, the source. So where is the original source for this item? Well, it's the open access repository. So if I go down, just go back up. Oop, 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 oop. Okay. Just going to grab that URI and go back in here. 
Ooh. I'm going to click on URI again and just paste that in. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do for now. Now, I didn't tell you this before, but there are four fields that you have to fill in on all new item metadata templates. So what they are, the uh, what the fields are is type, title, identifier, and rights down here. So everything else is basically up to you whether you fill it in, but you have to have something in those four. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to add. Add, and there we go. We've got our item. We've added our item. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some media. So to do that, I'm going to click Edit Item. And I'm going to go to media here. Okay, so you can upload all different kinds of media or you can embed something and you use embed to bring something over from um, uh, using the HTML from another um, like image or video or something. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to upload because we're going to actually upload the image. So up, click upload and I'm going to go choose file and then I'm going to go to my desktop find the file open the file so there it is added and then I'm going to go save so now what I've done I've added the media to the item so that's a quick um, and simple video to show you how to add an item thank you